Here's how I made this neon flickering text effect here in After Effects, inspired from this tutorial I made a while ago in Photoshop. Create a new composition, iridium it neon, and I'm gonna go with 1080p 30 frame per second. Duration is gonna be four seconds, black background, click OK. I'm gonna go with this text as a reference. By the way, I went with the Noya Haas Grotesque Display Pro Medium. Let's go and select the text, press Ctrl D to duplicate. I'm gonna uncheck the first one, let's select the second one. And here I'm gonna uncheck the fill and check the stroke. And the stroke thickness is gonna be on one. Now I'm gonna go and activate the top font and I'm gonna open it up. Let's go to animate and select the opacity. Let's go to the opacity here. I'm gonna decrease it to zero, open up the range selector, activate the stopwatch at the start, make sure it's on zero. And I'm gonna go to the first second and increase it to 90. Now I'm gonna go and open up the advanced scroll down and make sure to turn on the randomize order make sure it's on and then here we got the random seed and i'm going to press and hold alt click on the stopwatch here i'm going to type in time asterisk 10 and then click somewhere here and if i bring this back hit play and as you can see it's flickering now i'm going to scroll up collapse the layer let's go and right click here new select adjustment layer I'm going to rename it as Glow. And let's go to Effects and Presets and search for Glow. Let's drag it on the Glow Adjustment layer. And what I'm going to do here is go up here to the Glow Threshold. I'm going to decrease it to zero. Glow Radius is going to be 21. And let's go to the Glow Colors and change it. A and B Colors. And I'm going to go to Color Looping. And I'm going to select Sawtooth AB. And then here I'm going to change up the colors. You got the color A. And I'm going to change up the color B and I'm gonna make it blue. Click OK, and I'm gonna select the glow, press Ctrl D two times, and I'm gonna scroll up, select the second glow, and here I'm gonna go to the glow threshold, I'm gonna go with 60, glow radius is gonna be 78, and I'm gonna decrease the glow intensity to 0.4. And let's go to the glow three, glow threshold is gonna be 60 again, and the glow radius this time is gonna be 300 and then the glow intensity 0.8. I'm also gonna search for Gaussian Blur and drag and drop it under the glow. And I just wanna make these edges a little bit more glowy. So that's why I'm gonna add a little bit of blur. I'm gonna go with 2.8. All right, so now we're gonna need to create those lines and I'm gonna select the pen tool. And of course, make sure to deselect the layer if you're on it. So I'm gonna click somewhere here and it's gonna deselect. I'm gonna click here now, press and hold shift. Let's go to the right side and click on it. And now I'm going to go to the fill, click on the fill, click on the none, click OK. And I'm going to go to the stroke. Let's activate the stroke, click OK. Here we can change up the colors. I'm going to go with white, click OK. And I'm going to decrease the stroke to three. I'm going to go to the shape layer, rename it, lines. And I'm going to open it up. Let's go to add and let's select repeater. And I'm going to open up the repeater one. I'm going to go to the copies. I'm going to make a hundred copies. Now we're going to open up the transform repeater one. And let's go to the position. I'm going to decrease this to zero. And I'm going to go here. And I'm going to add like 17. And actually I'm going to need to adjust it better. So I'm going to decrease it. And I'm going to try it out with 12. Now let's go back to the effects and presets. Select the Gaussian blur. Drag it on the lines. And I'm going to increase the blurriness. I'm going to try it out with nine. Let's collapse the line layer and we're gonna to need to change up the blend mode. If you don't have this option, you can go here to the toggle switch, click on it, and it's going to appear or disappear. So I'm gonna go back to the blend mode and let's change it to classic color dodge. Now, but at least I'm gonna add some noise, a right click, new, select adjustment layer, a right click rename, noise, and I'm gonna search for grain, drag it on the noise layer, and here I'm gonna to go to the preset, I'm gonna go with this one, I'm also going to go to the view mode and change it to final output and I'm going to increase the intensity to 3.3. Let's hit play and this is how I make this flickering effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.